Hello everybody, my name is Merc, and today I'm playing some more of The Binding of Isaac. And this time, I intend to beat this goddamn game, because apparently... I can't. Starting off with the Basement XL, Curse of the Labyrinth, just quickly adjusting my volume. Oh, don't want to walk into a body. Because not only is that disgusting, apparently it'll hurt me. So, pretty simple room to start off with. And I'm not quite sure which way I want to go, so let's just go around in circles, I guess. Kill this Horf. Now that I learned its official name. Oh god! <sighs> Fuck! I hate these guys so damn much! I'm like asking to get hurt by them, basically. Oh, thankfully he walked into the fire. Come on, quickly destroy this fire. Okay. Got some troll bomb guys. Blow them up, blow them up. Awesome! Got a card for my trouble, the tower. Which is more troll bombs. I'll probably use this in a room where there might be a secret room. Actually, probably not. I'll probably just use it. In a room where I can blow something up, that's useful. There is the item room, but unfortunately, no keys to which to access it. To which to access- that sounds wrong. Probably is wrong on multiple levels. Picked up a whole heart to heal half a heart. A little bit of waste right there, but I hope that I won't need to heal again anytime soon. And of course, this guy gets him stuck himself stuck in the goddamn corner. Hopefully I can get him to kill himself somehow. Kill yourself! Maybe if I say mean things to him. Nobody likes you. You're a retard. Okay, cool. Some keys, which is very welcome. Let's just go quickly check out what's down here before I go back for that item room. Starting to regret that decision. Oh, shit. I don't know how I survived there. Well, I know how I survived. I don't know how I didn't take damage there. Should, uh, definitely got hurt there. I deserved to get hurt there. But nope, instead I got two bombs and a spirit heart in the poop. So, another coin right here. Let's go get that. Hopefully this will be a dead end soon, but it doesn't really seem like it. This is the basement XL. And unleash the horde on top of myself. Well, not on top of myself, but onto myself. Unleash the horrors on top of myself. <laughs> Okay, I'll stop. Alright. Quickly finish off these goddamn guys. Waddling around. It's like nobody's business. Waddling around, waddling around is their business. Let's uh, definitely not go in the boss room. Check out what's in here. And let's uh, use the card that I got in here to get this chest. Because like I said, it'll spawn a bunch of troll bombs. I was uh, contemplating just using it. Oh! Okay! Better than expected. I thought I was gonna get hurt. Range down. All of that for a range down. This game is run on a goddamn troll engine. <sighs> Alright, let's go check out that item room now. And I have another key, which is great, because I can go check out the other one once I come across it. And what the hell is that? Is that Blood Fury? Bloody Lust. Oh my god, that's awesome. First room, or first floor. That means basically I'm Samson with more hearts now, because Samson has otherwise the same stats as Isaac. And this is looking good, pretty good for a first item, because I think every, every enemy I kill will increase my damage by one. Oh, I probably should have, um, well... I shouldn't say that, I probably should have not used it in here. Wouldn't have made a difference whether that chest or another chest. Still would have got my range down pill, knowing my luck. But if I do have extra bombs towards the end of this, uh... Floor. Then I will go blow that up. The rock. I'll go blow up the rock. Because <laughs> I'm smelling what he's cooking and I don't like it. Alright. Come on, you goddamn hopper. Got another pill. Hopefully it's health up. Wasn't really hoping for a health up, but I was going to say hopefully it is good. And that is definitely a good item. And some money to start off with. Two more cents and I can go make the shop a possibility. If 
believe there is one indeed on this floor, and that's where it is. Cool stuff. Let's hope that I can... Oh, I love the damage that you do after you kill a bunch of uh, enemies. Some extra bombs and a spirit heart. Looking very good so far. And the item room. Which is X-Ray. Oh my god, that allows me the secret room. Or allows me to see the secret room, I should say. Maybe go in it? I'm not quite sure. I think I still have to blow it up, maybe. One of the items that allows you to see the secret room makes it so you don't have to blow it up. So let's just continue walking around until I discover the secret room. I wonder if this allows me to see the top secret room. Because I know the top secret room spawns in an area that's like out of the way. Did a little research on my own on how the algorithm works. For secret rooms? Um, yeah, I'll open this up. I have three keys. Why not? Cool. I have enough money to make the shop happen. Let's go uh, get some more money before I go over there. And thankfully, there is the secret room right there. Which is in a totally random spot that I didn't think it would be in. So, just goes to show that Edmund likes screwing with us. Although, pretty sure anyone who's played any of his games already knew that. And lots of money, which is great. Hopefully can get another cent out of the fire, which I did. Up to 29 cents on the basement XL. Looking very good for my chances so far, but only in the basement XL, so what can I say? Let's blow this up. Might as well. And a bomb for my effort and two cents, so profit! Profit was made. Alright. And I didn't need to use any of the extra hearts that dropped good. And Steam Sale, which is a great item to start off with as well. Getting a lot of decent items to start off with. So let's pick up this uh, bomb and heart. Maybe I shouldn't have picked up the bomb, but I, since I do have the secret, or the ability to see secret rooms, I'm not too concerned about wasting a little bit of money. Of course, unless I get like money equals power or something, then I'd be like, oh, god damn it. I'm just going to make a quick sweep. I wonder if these can see secret rooms, or top secret rooms as well. Yep. Oh, that's a different music. Oh, trinket, red patch. I believe when I get hurt, there's a small chance that my skin will be, like, torn off. Which translates to a damage up in this game, apparently. I did more research on the trinkets, hopefully so I can actually remember them in-game. And I also saw some trinkets that I don't have unlocked, because uh, I like spoiling shit for myself, apparently. So, we got to deal with famine right away. Hopefully you can spawn some flies. Cool, let's kill this fly so I can get a damage up. Oh, god damn it! Just want to get some damage up for my bloodlust. Oh my god, I walked into it. Oh, now I'm definitely doing a decent amount of damage. With all the flies that I killed and the red patch is in effect now, as you can see, I have no skin. Which is a pretty decent item. Spawn- Oh my god, Grandfather Fly, I gotta get rid of it. Fuck! No, instead, let's just walk into every single one of his bullets. <sighs> there goes all my spirit hearts. Well, all but a half. And the Duke of Flies. This will be another easy boss. I did get the cube of meat, which will hopefully help protect me a little bit throughout this run. He is a colored Duke of Flies, which means he is spawning um, those bullet bomb flies, these ones, explode into four bullets. And, green one. Oh! Shit. Alright, now I gotta be doing mad damage. I've just killed so many of these flies, and I'm just one hitting them now. Okay, come on. I should be, I should be doing this a lot, lot easier than what I am right now, so... Not quite sure why it's taking me so long. Definitely killed the Duke of Flies faster with less items. <sighs> Come on. Just die. It's because he's hanging up with his rocks. Alright. No stupid damage there. Hopefully I can get a deal with the devil going. Do have a fair amount of health to do that with. Yes, I do. And another Spirit Heart, which is very welcome. Let's check what this pill is. Or this card. It's two of clubs, which is double bombs, which is great, and I have 12, pinky eye, oh, what do I want, I think I want the red patch, do I want the red patch, yeah, let's just keep the red patch, I think it's better than pinky eye right now, 
Let's uh, use this. Fat guys, okay. Ooh, Guppy's paw. Um. Oh, I can reroll. Ooh, let's take this. Damage up, plus a spirit heart or two. And I'm also a black demon boy. In the catacombs, and it started off opening the goddamn shop for me. Luckily, though, I do have enough money to make this worthwhile, but I'm gonna want to reroll this, I think. For now, let's just pick up the spirit heart. It's only three cents, and that's always a good deal, in my opinion. So, it's hopefully not get hurt by those guys, because they will make me lose money, but oh, more of them. I didn't ask for more, game. I hate these guys. These are probably like one of my least favorite enemies now. Oh my god. Fuck. I had 12 cents, and they made me drop three, but I can only pick up two of it. Oh, I hate these guys. Why do they have so much health? I need damage up, like a straight damage up along with the pact I think I just got. Okay, come on. Just uh, fucking die. Just fucking die. Alright. Cool stuff. Let's go in here. And we got the secret room and mom's bra. I definitely want to reroll this item as well. So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to reroll this item before I reroll the, sh re -roll the shop. And a health up, which is amazing. Now making me regret not picking up Guppy's paw on the last one. I could have turned that into three spirit hearts each. Oh well, this is going to be a decent room for my bloodlust, because these guys will spawn spiders, which will increase my damage. Did get my uh, D6 charge. Let's go back over here. Reroll that. Um, I think I'm going to just take that, yeah. I like having an attack fly. It's not as useful as some other items, but I'm not going to keep rerolling that when I can be rerolling the shop. Among other things, maybe the boss room items. I just wish these guys would be easier to kill, come on! Oh shit! I didn't think I was gonna dodge through that. If you stand still, and if you're certain enough a distance away from them, you will always dodge their shots, since they never shoot directly at you. They shoot to your sides. Kind of want to go do the boss room? Let's, let's go do the boss room. Blighted Ovum, which means it's not really gonna help out, or my... Bloodlust isn't going to really help, oh my attack fly will. Well, this guy doesn't get tired out after he does his charge. And you can only just, you can just kill all. Kill one, and the other one will follow. Um, the reason why I did that, of course, being I want to maximize my d6 rolls, just in case there's a shitty item. I think this is a range up, which would equalize my uh, range down pill that I got. Money equals power. I don't want that. I don't. Ah, do I want that? I want that. Yep, I'm taking it. I have secret room uh, vision, so that's probably gonna help out in the long run. So let's go uh, see if I can reroll that uh, range up item, because I don't feel that range is really one of my most important attributes at this stage. And every 10 cents I get now will increase my damage by 1 with 1 equals power. So I have a plus 1 damage already, just for picking it up and having 10 cents. Let's quickly, quickly go back over here. Hopefully not doing too much backtracking in this video, I am in the caves at 14 minutes. Reroll this, and that's definitely worth it, that's tears and an HP up, which equalized my money equals power. Pick up. Let's go. Oh, I was like, why did it freeze? Just froze a bit there. I was panicking that I was gonna actually break my game, and I, then I would have been pissed off because this is probably one of my best runs in a while. Let's go blow this up. Bomb for my efforts and some money, which will hopefully turn into some power later. I uh, don't really need a key. Well, I have three, so I'm not really concerned. Too concerned for a key anyway. Just like that one. Gotta hopefully get a chance at. Yes, I was really hoping that would blow up my uh, those bomb, those uh, sack flies. I guess. Let's go check out this room. That is the library, I guess, for lack of a better name. 
which will give me the deadly seven deadly sins. Oh, the book of sins. Use that for a free bomb. Why not? Pick this up again. I don't really feel like carrying any of those items around. Those are probably like the two worst books in my opinion. And all that for nothing. Um. Yeah, I don't want to pick any of that up. That item on the far left was a portable slot machine, and I don't really like slot machines as it is. And I definitely would prefer the D6, the dice that I have over the slot machine anyway. So, let's just continue on then. Definitely uh, feeling good about this run now. Do have a fair amount of health. Well, more than a fair amount. And found a secret room right away, so let's go right in there. And some more money, which will translate directly into another power. Up. A power up, I guess. Because, um, oh cool, blew up that one for me. Now I have 23 cents, which means two power upgrades. Just quickly press escape. Yeah, I'm full power. Could use a bit more uh, range, I'm assuming that was, on the far side. Oh, come on, fly. Why didn't it hurt it? It did hurt it the second time, but not the first. Stupidly walk into that zombie. Pick up a spirit heart for my troubles, and the other secret room, which is definitely welcome. I like that there's two of them now, and this is pretty useless to me, but good to know that it's there. So, let's continue onwards. And I guess I'm doing pretty decent, considering I am in the catacombs. Okay, just kill one, kill one, kill one, kill one! <sighs> too close. Too close for comfort. And now there's four. At least this way, or this room, I have a little bit of a area to dodge their shots in. They're not just gonna scissor me. <laughs> Alright, so let's go in here. I do have a fair amount of health, so I'm not feeling too bad about doing that and wasting my time. Alright, all that wasted. All, well, all that effort for a wasted spirit heart, basically. Let's go continue onwards. Found the item room. Oh, shit! I am so surprised I did not take damage. Definitely should have. I deserve to. My dodging's not that good. Alright, new pills. Take that. Telepills. Into the boss room. Fighting the headless horseman. For chance at the pony, I'm assuming. Or is it a 100% guaranteed chance that I'll get the pony item? Okay, just, just fucking die. Oh, red patches. Procked. Just deal with the freaking body. I hate the head more than the body. Because I can dodge these shots pretty effectively. In comparison to the widespread triple shot that it does and the charge. Adds way too much chaos to a fight. Using my attack fly to get rid of them. Um if I reroll this, what happens? No, let's not reroll it. Let's reroll the other item. Then come back for the pony, because the pony will give you me flying which is welcome, and it also gives me a charge attack, which isn't all that useful, but it's still, um, it does something else, which is good. Let's go in here. Yeah, definitely happy that I, um, saved my d6 for that, and that's Mr. Boom, so no, I'll try to hopefully get another charge for my d6, so I can reroll that as well. Hate this, these guys, these guys are a pain in the ass. Definitely do not like them. Let's get my attack fly to it. Attack them. Isaac's fork right there, which is a lifesteal abili ability. Chance at lifesteal. Or a chance at gaining. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate these guys. The goddamn passion. And there was like, what, eight of them in this room? And Child's Heart, which I think is a chance at at dropping hearts anyway. No extra keys. Oh, let's do it. I need money. Tammy's head, not worth it. So many items that I could be rerolling. But I can't. Definitely need to reroll one of my items though. So I'm going in here so I can get a charge on the D6 to do so. Stand in the middle. Then I don't get hurt by spawning enemies. Just really hope my attack fly would do some damage there. It didn't really seem like it did. Take out the Eiffel loose guy right there. Kill some spitting heads. 
some horkin heads. Alright, got my D6. 26 cents, which is close to... Actually, I don't know, do I want to reroll Tammy's head? <sighs> Let's just quickly check out in here, wasting one cent to do so. Um, let's go use this a couple times. Actually, let's use this a lot because I have that top secret room to restore my health. <laughs> the red patch proc right there, so now I've increased damage. A lot of money. Looking good. I'm gonna have plus four damage now. Okay, come on. Just give me... God damn it. Okay, let's uh, blow this guy up. Hill. What is this? Health up. Oh, awesome. Alright, let's um, check out... No, I can't check out the shop. I don't have any keys. Alright, well, let's reroll this item. I don't know if I want to do more backtracking. I think I really want to, though. Popat, Miter. I feel blessed. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that does. But I've been blessed, so I'm not complaining. Let's go pick up this health down here and do some more backtracking. This video is definitely going to be another long one. I'm at 22 minutes, only in Caves 2. Um, since I already defeated the boss, I feel comfortable with uh, just getting as many hearts as I can in this room, this next room here. And then, four extra hearts still. Using the blood bank, backtracking all the way over here. Potentially get a blood bag. That is what I'm hoping. Oh, I can go in this shop for free, and it's greed, which is actually welcome because if I don't take too much damage, I can actually profit from this. Damn it! From this room because he drops money. Shit! Too close. All right, cool. And he also gave me a spare heart, so greed is actually good to come across. Ah, oh, I probably should have picked up the pony. While I was over there, but it's only one scent that I'm missing, and a bomb, I guess, for not picking up that pony. Okay, come on. Give me a goddamn item, please. Please, game. Please. There we go. Oh my god, IV bag, portable blood bank. Um. I'm getting rid of the pony anyway. It's not like it really matters. That's disappointing. I don't like that IV bag. Like, I don't know. If it can give you a blood bag, that would be fucking amazing. But I'm not going to carry around the IV bag just in hopes that... Actually, that could spawn a lot of money for me. Which obviously translates into power. But I think I'm just going to continue onwards for now. But that is something to keep in mind in the future. For the future. Pick up a pony. And I do move faster with that. I noticed. Which is welcome. So, can't go in the shop right away. Do have the money to make that happen. I'm not too concerned with uh, wasting 7 cents to get an item, get a good item from the shop. Because, like, like I said, or like I got steam sale earlier, so I'm not going to be wasting a whole 15 cents to go do that. Definitely don't like these rooms. Definitely don't like the necropolis. Oh my god. Oh my god! I'm just asking to get hurt. I... That's my rage right there, in case you couldn't tell. Another library room, but I still need some freaking keys to make that happen. But I am doing a significant amount of damage. Well, not significant, but a definitely a good amount of damage. Um, I'm not quite sure. I want to use this key on the item room before I waste the key on anything else. Holy shit! I think those nubs will fire the poison bombs in a random direction, whereas those walking guys will always try to shoot them towards you. Oh my god. I was out of range. 
Okay, well, I have the Emperor card, which will tele teleport me to the boss room. In case uh, I want to reduce some backtracking. Which is good. Okay, come on. Secret room. Fucking nubs, man. What was I supposed to do? At that part. Couldn't do anything. I don't think these nubs... Uh, oh, I keep forgetting I can fly. Probably a good thing to keep in mind. Now that I have the pony. Never remember that I can fly. Alright, bunch of money. It's more power for me. Definitely happy that I took that, but... Can that translate into me winning? Is the question, and I don't think it... It's not guaranteed, that's what I'm trying to say here. It definitely is not guaranteed yet. I'm only at three and a half hearts right now. At a six total. And I think I can actually get into that room... Yes, I can, without wasting a key. Bucket of lard, which will make me go slower, but you know what? Also gives me two hearts. Two heart containers. So, definitely worth it. Okay, fuck it, fuck it! That was worthless, but... A worthy endeavor nonetheless. Just gotta keep circling these guys, that's what I gotta remember. They're not that hard to deal with, but for some reason my mind doesn't want to process it. Process the information that they send at me. Bunch of spiders. And double spiders. And as far as I know, when it comes to spider AIs, they move around semi-randomly until you get close enough. Oh. I think I want to keep that for when I head to the next floor. Oh, what the fuck? Ultra Pride? What the hell is this thing? Like a screaming emo baby? And they're definitely shooting out homing... Homing tears. Who is this? Oh, Super... Super Pride, did I say? Never seen this guy before. Kinda reminds me of Edmund. I think that's intentional, though. Definitely think it was intentional. I keep... Like thinking I'm gonna get hurt for uh, being on that green stuff, but I can fly, so it doesn't really matter. But I can see that being a problem. Don't want to stand to the left or to the right. What the hell is this? The left hand? I'm keeping that. I don't remember ever seeing that. Um. Well, I'm done here, so let's go teleport to the boss room. Fighting war, which is actually pretty good because. Ah, oh, fuck! Don't die here, man. Use the pony right there. To oh shit! Like I'm dodging into him. Okay, now now I got this. Oh, I don't have Ouija board tears, so I can't just hide over a rock as much as I want to. So, after, like I was saying, after I kill this guy, I'll get another cube of meat right there. Which translates into another powered up meat boy, which will shoot with me. Which basically equates to a damage up. Let's go in here. Two anarchist cookbooks. Are you serious? Waste a key. That I could have potentially used to get in the shop, but you know what? I want to keep my money now. I feel like I need that. So, backtracking of course to go pick up this white heart here. And then when I go to the next floor, that will turn into... Oh, for fuck's sakes. I hate those things with a passion. With a goddamn passion. They move too fast when, you, when you're trying to enter the left or right rooms. Because they're right there. They're going to hit you. All right, whatever. Got a full red heart now because of that. I'm not quite sure who to take out first in this situation. Probably shouldn't have been the fistula though. But you know what? Now I'm killing all these guys, so I'm gonna have so much damage coming up in this room. That was very well done. Well, not very well done, but I didn't take damage, so. Decently done. Okay, take out these goddamn spewing laser guys. Another half heart. I 
every guy you summon, man, will make me stronger to kill you. Goddamn chub. Thankfully it is a chub. I actually think these are probably like one of the better rooms to get into. A room with uh, an older boss in it. Or a weaker version. Or, yeah, I guess a weaker version of a boss. Pretty sure they're probably not as strong as the actual boss room bosses. Anyway. Thank god I got flying so I don't have to waste a key to get in there. Because I obviously wouldn't be able to. Being that I have no keys. Alright, another... Half hard! Oh my god! And I like how these doors are still open, even though I summoned spiders. Didn't know that was a possibility. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! That guy's like glitched out in the corner there. Oh my god! Oh, of course, more spiders just made the room worse for myself. Okay, still doing pretty decent with health. Could be doing better though. Could be dodging better. I think I'm gonna get a spirit heart from these fish, or is that only Larry Jr. when they're blue? I don't think these guys are considered blue. Alright, chain reactions going off. Yeah, I guess they do drop spirit hearts. Almost thought I was gonna waste it there with that other bomb flight. Full health, that would have been better to pick up earlier. I don't know if I want to go into that room. Okay, now I do. Into the gambling room here. I don't know if I want to do the blood bank or anything like that still. I was just checking out if there would be like a free item in there, like a coin or a spirit heart or something like that, because that can happen. It has happened to me in the past. Still need to get a key, check out the secret rooms, like that one, and go to the item room, of course, with that key that I want. Uh, just check out the secret room. Unicorn horn. I think I want to stick with the pony for now. Because it provides a passive defense. Because I can float over rocks and pits, which help out. Ah, oh, I dodged that. I hate the hitboxes of these damn poison bombs, let alone the arc. But they do. The lob that they throw. Okay, spirit heart, welcome. Golden Poop. My friend was telling me about this, and I was uh, actually reading up on one of Edmund's... I think it was on Edmund's site. Something like that. Maybe... Like, uh, some sort of thing where you can follow him. I was reading up that he's going to add Golden Poop. Let's see what I get. Bunch of money. God damn, that is very welcome. Now i got to be doing plus 9 damage. Like, I'm probably doing damage off the charts now. Which is very welcome lost one cent, but as long as I don't get hurt again, I will be okay. And a key, thank god, I don't want to go backtracking. Mom's pill bottle, well, it's not really going to help out much, but I can use one, get a health up for free. Very welcome. Actually, I think I might even want to take the pill bottle. Because oh. I know for a fact I can have a health up pill from there, and I can also get full health pills from there. I'm going to do it. Like, I think the only bad pill I got so far was bad gas, telepills. Yeah, I'm going really slow now. See, now I have decisions. Do I wanna? So many spacebar items. Now I wish I had the D6 still. I gotta make a decision, though. Like, I don't think I can charge up this uh, pill bottle. Walked into that goddamn. I didn't think I was gonna dodge that. Um, I am moving really slow, so that is another consideration with this whole pill bottle thing. Um, okay, let's go check out what's in here. Um, uh, blow it up. Yeah, cool. Lots of money. Definitely not feeling comfortable about uh my speed and such right now. Gotta be in position just in case he spawns a troll bomb. In position to get the fuck out. Giving him my money, but I know I'm gonna be getting more money in the future. Yes, that is very welcome. Thank you, Justice or Beggar. Come on. I don't really like this music. The Necropolis dog food. Very, very appreciated. <sighs> Alright, let's do this. Because I'm pretty sure if I tried to walk past that rock, it wouldn't work all that well. Okay, I am not taking the pill bottle as much as I want to. 
think I definitely need the speed with uh, the pony and the flying and the damage up I guess that it gives me with the ability to charge yeah that's definitely a speed up right there could be going fast but I picked up that bucket of lard could get a free bomb up there yeah let's do it let's blow up this as well hopefully get my money back nope but keys are definitely welcome as well because I have none let's go check out the shop quickly and then I'll determine what I want to do what else I want to do? Like maybe go into that. Oh, well, another greed. God damn it. Alright, just that greed. No one likes you. Some money. Bombs. Not enough for another damage up, though. Ah, uh, let's go in here. I'm gonna take damage as I leave. Waste a half a spirit heart for two troll bombs. At least it wasn't a full one this time. I don't think I want to uh, play the Blood Bank. I'm going to play a couple times here. A dying, nice. Definitely profiting so far. Holy crap. I wonder if I'll win this poop hat. Oh, I won the poop hat? <laughs> now flies will never hurt me. Although we're pretty much past the point of flies now, and that was pretty much worthless. Let's go blow this up and get some hearts out of it. Very, very well done. Or very well, not really well done, because I don't really have much choice in how that works. How the gambling room works there, but definitely profited it in the end. I really hope she will destroy these rocks up here. Although I guess it doesn't matter because I can fly them. But now that she did, I have a bit more room to shoot things with. Let's try to uh, position myself in a place where I can use the pony on her. Okay, stop screaming and stop me. Okay, that did not turn out. Okay, come on. I want to potentially use the pony in a good place where I can maybe hit her twice in a row. Actually, I don't think I want to risk that. Oh, it hurt me. What the hell? Did it hurt me? I don't think so. Maybe. I was flashing red. Just kind of assumed it hurt me. Bro, I gotta be doing damage like crazy right now. Although I still don't even feel all that strong. Maybe she was buffed for health. Band-Aid, which is a health up, and some spirit hearts which are now off the screen. Definitely doing very good so far. I'll probably have uh, two or three spirit hearts as well as the womb XL as well as 12 red hearts. I'm kind of happy that I got the Womb XL. Hopefully this means that I can quickly find the boss room. Well, actually, I guess <laughs> I guess it means I can't find quickly find the boss room. But it means I can quickly, hopefully, get over the Womb quickly enough. I said quickly, what? Four times? Five times now? Quickly. Alright. Kill some Diglets. Skull turrets. I said kill some Diglets. Skull turrets. Diglett is pushing the sculpture. I didn't know they could do that. Okay, I fucking hate these Diglets too. Not as much as I hate some other guys, but when they're teleporting around like dicks, don't appreciate that. I'm gonna have a bad time. Alright. Pill here. Telepills. Let's use it. Oh, there's two pills there. Okay, take out the lasers. Kind of, I think, our priority. Because I don't, I can fly over that shit the goop that the brain's left behind. I'm totally on the other end of the floor. Forgot that these guys can fly too. So I'm not safe over rocks. Not quite sure if there's any... <sighs> the hangman, that's useless. That just gives me flying. Secret room. I don't know if I want to go searching for the other secret room. I gotta be... below spirit hearts. No! Oh my god! Oh my god! Since when could enemies spawn in a secret room? Got a double wrath fight here. Oh my god. Okay, well, thank you. I don't need to fight you guys. Don't really need bombs or a bomb upgrade. Bombs or bomb accessories. Whoa, you guys spawn shootout homing tears. I didn't know that. I guess the purple is the new uh, homing tears thing. Lockdown. 
I wasn't very lucky to begin with, game. Okay, let's dodge. Oh, shit! I said let's dodge those shots. Not run into them. Why do these guys spawn purple? Okay, well... Um... No, I gotta do it the other way around. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Damage him on the spikes. Health up. I don't know if I can even have any more hearts. Full health. Let's just keep that handy for now. Because that could potentially mean plus 12 hearts right there. So, no point in using it when I'm only going to heal four and a half. Or maybe five and a half if that health up did go off the screen. I don't know. Wonder if uh, you can get hearts off the screen. I know you can get blue hearts off the screen and probably white hearts. Red hearts probably is an interesting question. Because I've never had it happen before. Given that you can only have a certain amount of, uh, you know, dog foods or whatever. I don't think I want to continue exploring the rest of this area. Even though I didn't check out the top secret room. Just want to get this uh, over with and hopefully successfully done. So let's go do that. Fighting who the hell is this? The bloat? Oh, okay. Don't stand to the left or right of him. That's what I just learned right there. Or to the bottom of him. Well, at least his one attack I can't be hurt by. So, got this peep upgrade. I think I have fought this guy before. I don't remember if I fought him in this in a video though. I think I have. I don't know. Barely remember what I did yesterday. Let alone what I did a couple weeks ago, considering it has been a couple weeks now since I've done a Binding of Isaac video. Well, actually, that's not true. I have one right now that's almost done. Pills here. Hopefully one of these is a full health pill, and one of them is. So let's use that. Carry this one with us. What is this? Another health up. Can I get more hearts? I don't know. Just keep using them. Now we're fighting. It lives. Let's use the pony. Oh man. Did I even damage her? I don't think I did. Oh shit. Definitely should be using, uh, bombs here. Probably should have been damaging her while I was doing that, but... Oh well. I was trying to damage him with my attack fly right there, but it didn't really work out. Didn't get hurt, though. Come on. Yeah, I killed Larry Jr.'s, plant another bomb. Yep. Plant another bomb. Oh, did not kill all of them, but thankfully I did kill three of them. Cool, doing pretty decent. Yeah, now she's in phase two, always constantly throwing her bombs now. Which isn't too concerning at this moment. My attack fly tearing up those meat, meat guys. Come on, just die. Cool. Well, I still have yet to beat Cathedral, so that's where I'm going. So, let's not die. Please do have a full health pill, so I'm feeling pretty confident about my chances right now. If you know, I don't get too many rooms like this, because these are probably, like, my least favorite enemies to deal with. Holy shit! Oh my god. I just lost, like, four hearts in this room. Maybe not four, but... That was not, not well done at all. White exploding bomb flies. Let's take them out first. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I really hate these headless horseman heads. Like, in case you couldn't tell by my, all my swearing right now. It's probably, like, my least, least favorite enemies ever. Because they're half a boss on their own. And when there's, like, three of them, they're just harder than most bosses, I have to say. Did find secret room, and there is a secret rock. Let's see if I can blow up a, a bomb fly over here. Not like it helps out all that much, but I guess not. Oh, okay, whatever. Did get a spirit heart from that, and another spirit heart. So, not doing so bad. Just gotta remember that I have Q to heal full. God fucking damn it. I hate these. White bomb worms, man. More bombs, please. Not what I was hoping for. Waste of my pony charge. Come on. I'm not 
feeling so good anymore. Not as good as I was like two minutes ago. Probably don't have any more spirit hearts, so I gotta be careful about when I take damage now. <sighs> that does not help. Game, that does not help at this point. It is a one extra hit though, which I guess does help, but not that much. Let's go up. And we're fighting Widow. It's GTFO here. I don't know why I didn't check out this room earlier. Check out up here. Fischilla, I can, I can deal with Fischilla. <sighs> he says as he gets hurt. Fuck sakes. I did get uh, another damage down on my four hearts there, so gotta be quick on the flat or quick on the draw when it comes to using this key full health pill. Shit. Okay, it turned out decent. I don't know if I want to check out this room to the side here. Let's not, unless I really feel the necessary. Feel it's necessary to do so. So let's go continue to the right on my pony. Oh shit! My attack fly killed that fly like right away. Mom's pearl, which drops more mom's items, I think. Monstro two, which is actually very, very not not that good. Oh, I thought I was gonna get hurt there. Okay, stop doing the fucking jumps, man. And he is a smaller version. Oh my! Okay, I'm just gonna use it. I don't want to be holding on to it and then, like, you know, dying. Oh my god, can you stop jumping, you fucking dick? Holy shit. Every time he jumps two times in a row, or on the second jump, he will always spawn more flies. Which I don't need, man. And he does it yet again. Oh my god. And he does it again! Just die! Just fucking die! Oh, please. Please just die. I was at full health. I was at full health. Guys, I'm not feeling confident at all. At all. Oh my god. <laughs> Why am I terrible at this game? I wish I had... I don't even know, because I should be doing amazing. I have so much damage. I have 99 cents. <sighs> Fuck me, man. Focus on one. And of course, it's the one that starts charging. Oh my god. Oh, my Q meat saved me right there. I'm screwed. I am so screwed. I'm so screwed right now. Fuck me, man. I don't need that key. Knew such a waste of time, man. Oh, fuck. Really want to get the fuck out of here. Not even risking it anymore. I need to get to Isaac. Two! Two widows! Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, thank god. I wasn't paying attention to how much damage I was doing to them. Thank you. What the hell are you? What? There's a non boss a uh, moving Gertie? Well, not I was gonna say a non-boss, but this guy seems like he could be boss material. Check out what's in here, probably spiders. Nope, Mega Troll Bomb. Thankfully, not that close. Let's check out what's in here. Necronomicon. Let's take it. I think this does uh Oh, I move so slow. This could be my downfall, not even taking that. Use it right away. Focus on dodging. He says as he fucking gets hurt. Okay. Game. I hate you. You hate me. Just let me win once, please. Please let me win once. All I'm fucking begging. I am literally begging. I'd be on my knees if I could. I think my cube meat saved my ass right there. I was just gonna say not doing so bad, but... Taking stupid damage as per my usual. Not even gonna worry about my attack fly. Oh my god, two hits left. Phase three. One hit left. Why are these guys. Fuck! 
Guys, 50 minutes and I still wasted my time. What the hell does this left hand do? <sighs> Hope you guys had fun watching me stress out over this game. I wish I could just beat this. I really do. I'll see y'all next time.